Hi everyone, this is Jacob from ImmersiveMath.com. Today we'll talk about the first figure in chapter 6, and this is this one. So this shows what happens when you multiply a matrix with a vector. So we take a vector by forming a vector from every pixel in this image. So every pixel becomes a vector RGB, as you can see here, and that is multiplied on the right side here with this matrix on the left side. And the resulting thing is another vector, which we use as a color. And you can see that there here. So by changing these uh, coefficients in the matrix, you could change the color reproduction in this image. So uh, for instance, here we have 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, uh, 1, 0, 0. So you have an anti-diagonal matrix here. So the first row controls the red. And you can see here that this row depends only on what happens in the last element here, which represents the input blue. So we see that the red is just the blue, and the blue is just the red. And here in the middle, you have the green being untouched. So what you would expect then is for red colors to become blue, and you can see that happens, and for blue colors to become red. And this is exactly what happens in this image. We could also see uh, more clearly that the, the first line here is, um, is the red, because if we remove everything else, uh, we only have the first line here uh, being non-zero. You see that you get something that's really red. And if we could even take the, the second line here, and you see that you get something that's really green. Another thing that you could try is to use the same values for each row here. So for instance, we put 0 0.3, 0 0.6, and 0 0.1. And we do that on all the rows. And what that gives you is something that looks like a black and white image because then the red, green, and blue output will get exactly the same value. So there will be no color in the reproduction here. Another thing that you could try is to uh, use 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, and 0, 0, 1. This means that the red will be influenced only by the red color, the green only by the green, and the blue only by the blue. And that means that you get something that looks exactly uh, the same as before. You could do some pretty interesting things with this. Let's say that you had a really old camera and the camera was not working so well. So instead of taking in only the red light, it will also take in a little bit of um, the green light in the red. and the the green sensor so to speak would only would not only take the the green but also a bit about from the red and from uh the blue and the blue one would be completely broken it would only um give the same input whatever color you had in this case you see that you get something that looks like a crummy old camera, like a faded photograph. It could certainly be one of the Instagram filters that you have in Instagram. And of course, if you make these rows more similar to each other, then you will come closer and closer to gray. So let's say here that instead of 1, 0 0.2, 0, we make this more similar to uh, each other. So 0 0.5 everywhere instead. And now you can see that the colors are gone more and more. Another thing you could try is to say, okay, so I want to have a grayscale image. So I want all the rows to be the same, but I also want to erase this star here. I want this star to have the same color as the background. So you could actually do that by saying that the uh, the first two components should be really small and the last component should be really big because this blue here then gets boosted by this high number two and this yellow color here gets less strength. So then they meet in the middle, you have the same strength inside and outside here. 
So that's another thing you could do. You could become even bolder saying that, hmm, not only do I want a grayscale image where these are the same, I want a color image where they are opposite. And that is also possible. So you could do that, for instance, by, uh, by this. So here you have a matrix that creates an image. So these have actually been reversed. This color is very close to that color and, and this color is really close to, to the star in this. Then you could say, hmm, wouldn't it be pretty nice if you could have only one color for everything and then the helmet being yellow. So we could try to, to do that as well. So now you see that not only have we inverted this, we have turned this yellow and everything else blue. And it kind of looks like a Swedish flag, at least in the colors, which is kind of cool since we're from Sweden. Maybe you could play around with this and see if you could find a matrix that transformed this image into the colors of your flag. Might be a bit tricky if you have more than two colors, but why not try to give it a go? That's everything for this time, and I hope you got something out of this. Bye!